Uh, hey, what's up? It's Nick from MMA Pixels here with Mike Segura. Mike's 8-5 and five is a professional mixed martial artist. He has a huge matchup coming up April 5th against Shoni Yamamoto at Costa, Costa Mesa, California Fight Club OC. How are you doing today, Mike? Doing really well, man. Excited for this fight. Uh, it's so close now. and uh, exactly. So your last fight was uh, for Bellator. That's a big promotion. I know you fought for him in the past prior to... Is there any difference um, leading up to the fight from a big promotion to, a, like, a smaller promotion? Uh, you know what? Honestly, there's not really any difference. I treat all the fights the same. I prepare very hard. I know that each one is a step closer to what I want. You know, I'm, I'm trying to make a living out of this. This isn't just for for fun or for just, just to get to a show and say I did it. It's it's to make, make something of it. I want to be a champion. I want to fight the top guys. And uh, I want to make a living. I want to have a family. <laughs> I want to have kids, and I want to be able to support them. So this is your sole source of income? Uh, yeah, currently I do this. I, I train a little bit. I have some clients and stuff like that, and uh, I help out at the school. So I MMA. I help teach some classes. But this is it, man. This is all I want to do. I want to I want to fight for a living. I want to earn everything I, I have through fighting. That's my goal. That's the end goal. Knowing that's the way you're going to eat, the way to provide for your family, does that push you a little harder? Absolutely. I mean, it's... So motivating, especially when you have a partner. Like I have a partner now, and I'm engaged. Uh, I want to be married this December, and uh, you know she's my inspiration a lot of times. Um, just knowing that we're in this together, and this is the way I provide my my half my half of the the deal. You know, I got to go out there. I got to go win. Yeah, every fight's tight. Everyone is, uh, you know, it's 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 a check to check kind of deal. But with that is the motivation in itself because every time I win, you know, I get a little extra. Like it's, it's, it's what I need. I, I can't accept failure. This last loss hurt, you know, it all hurts, but this, they, they, there is financial repercussions as well. So, you know, that's a big motivating factor, but you know, you want to win just to win too. And that just kills me in itself. You know, I prepared very hard for that fight and losing it just, it just doesn't sit well. <laughs> it shouldn't sit well, you know? Right, your last fight, January twentieth for Bellator, you lost by submission. Uh, what did you do going forward to to work on that? Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time with great like uh, jujitsu practitioners. You know, I have Adam Lynn, he's black belt, my head coach, and we worked a lot of the positions that that I have trouble in. And uh, really, I think my biggest problem in that position that, that I ended up getting caught in is I stopped moving. You know, for a split second, I just stopped moving, and uh, he was able to just touch me, kind of soften up the softened up my defense and as soon as I exploded up he, he was he's good he's not a slouch in jiu-jitsu either the guy's a black belt fighting out of Kings MMA he snagged my neck like a professional and he did what he's supposed to do you know so uh I just needed to keep moving keep it live and, and, and not let him settle up settle down to get that submission you know and knowing that that's how I'm going to defeat that next time so I'm pretty confident in, in our progress like I said, the fight was January 20th. We're just uh, about two months out. Um, having two fights back-to-back -back like that, do you think that helps out? Do you, did you improve on your training camp? Yeah, I stay consistent. Uh, I haven't changed much, and, um, you know, I, I just keep getting better and better. I got a little puppy over here. Sorry if she barks. Uh, you know, I keep getting better each camp because I stay in there. Sorry? What's the puppy's name? Maya. She's a little bull mastiff. Uh, she's probably 55 pounds now. She's only five months. She's going to be huge. She'll be my weight class. She'll be a featherweight, 145. <laughs> but, uh, nice. but yeah, so uh, the improvements we make camp to camp is it's consistent, and they're, 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 every camp is I get better. I just don't I don't leave the gym. You know, I fight and I'm back in there in a week, and I and I'm improving on where I stop. Guys, we push. So you know, fighting the way I fight, it's like four to five times a year. You know, I stay I stay pretty busy, and with that consistency, I think uh, you know. It carries conviction. It carries results. So, as this last, not this, you know, obviously this year has been rough, but uh, last year I had four wins in a row. You know, it, I was looking to make it five and I got caught. But that happens. What gym do you train out of? Subfighter MMA out in uh, Laguna Hills, California. Who are some of your training partners? I know you mentioned a couple. Yeah, I got uh, Justin Governor. You know, he's a brown belt, soon to be black belt in jiu jitsu. Uh, Cody Walker, you know, he's, uh, he fought in Bellator as well. And, uh, we got even some guys coming up like Jeff Mellers and amateur guy coming up. Um, 
Eric Vanderly just went pro. Uh, Andrew Freelove, another amateur. Diana Mendoza. You know, we got a lot of like young talent coming in, and these guys are freaking good. You know, they're, they're catching me, they're pushing me, they're they got energy. You know, uh, I'm 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 almost thirty. Yeah, I've been doing this for about five years. I got energy too. You know, I can keep going, but I thought. I'm like a young guy in there still. I, I'm new to the sport. My body's still healthy. I'm still good to go. But when you feel the youth, it's like you feel these 20 year olds pushing you. It's like, damn, you know, they got they got it on another level. So having them around, it pushes me even more. It's nice, right? For young every talent. UFC, for every UFC fighter, Bellator fighter, there's more in their gym just waiting to take their spot. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh man, they're like a little hungry lions, just trying to take you out because. I mean, that proved to them, you know, where they're at. Like, hey, if I can compete with this Bellator fighter, if I can compete with, you know, a UFC fighter, like, that means I can make it, you know, and, and, and it should, that's how it should be. It should always be that way. It keeps me motivated to say, get, keep getting better, and it keeps them ready to, to keep climbing, you know. I think that's part of the way we push each other. Iron sharpens iron. Absolutely. Mark Williams so used are, to say that all the time. Who are some of your biggest supporters? Oh, I mean, I have a tremendous family base. You know, my mother is, is probably the number one supporter. She just, uh, she, I made a promise to her that if I was to fight professionally that I would train my ass off and I'll give it everything I got. And then she would be at every fight. And she is not disappointed yet. She's been at every fight. She's screaming her head off, cheering, crying, whatever the case may be, but she's there. And, um, you know, she's she's been a huge, she's the reason I am who I am today. You know, she raised my brothers and I and, that's a that's a big part of my motivation too. Um, also, I have my three brothers, you know, who show up in my fights as well. One of them is uh, Steve, and he's he's my youngest brother, and he is a jujitsu brown belt who whoops my butt on occasion, coming and training with me, and teaches me a thing or two, which is always nice. You know, to have family in the gym with you, it's like I don't know, it's just fun. He takes you back to you when you're a kid wrestling on the couch for the remote, and now we're doing it at a high level. <laughs> So that's pretty fun to have. And then, um, you know, like I said, my fiance is her family, her sisters. They're like my sisters now. So I got a whole group of people, plus plus the people I, I, I see at the gym on a daily basis become family, you know. I got uh, family with the Broxmas that I've been training for five years, the Ayers that I've been training for two years. I mean, these people start out as friends and start out as strangers, and then all of a sudden they're your family, you know. They become family too, so. And not to mention my teammates. It's just like, it's a crazy amount of support that I have. I'm, I'm blessed beyond my deserving, without a doubt. Where can the fans connect with you on social media? Oh, on Instagram, Mike Segura MMA. On Facebook, just Mike Segura. There's a couple of fan pages out there, but I got to be honest, I'm not as active as my personal. So just add me on the personal page, man. I'll, I'll friend request. I'll, you know, add you guys and all that. I stay pretty, you... pretty active on there. Do you still have tickets available for your fight? Yeah, there are a few available. It's at OC Cryo Care um, by one of my sponsors, actually. You know, they have the cryotherapy there. They got chiropractor there. They have uh, the Norma Tech for the legs when they get tired. Uh, they, they also sell my tickets for me because, honestly, when you're cutting weight, you don't want to sell tickets. You, you just want to rest and you want to eat and you want to just drink some water and hang out. So they, they're doing me the favor. They're selling the tickets, and uh, there's a few left. So if you guys want them, come get them. It's in Laguna Hills, California, OC Cryo Care. That's the spot. When does the weight cut start? Uh, it's kind of, you know, already started. I just try to, like, eat healthier, eat lighter. It, that way it's not such a pain when, when it comes time. 55 is comfortable for me. You know, I uh, it's a cut. It's always a cut, and it sucks. But 55 is very doable. 45 is another level. I got to get to a, you know, I got to be very, very high, uh, disciplined. And, um, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough, but I, I don't mind. I think that's where I'll be at at the high level. So I got to get used to that. All right, Mike, I appreciate your time. April 5th, Costa Mesa, California. Shoni Yamamoto versus Mike Segura. It's going down. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Your support helps the channel grow. Please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and I'll get back to you.